All right, welcome back again to the channel. Uh, today, we're gonna answer this frequently asked question that we get. It is how to install the, the audio panel from the G1000 in your Slavix tabletop in the Okay, so in front of us here, we've got a mock Slavix tabletop avionics panel. This is just the audio panel cutout section of that. I've done some demos before, how to mount a yoke into a panel with just a little little section of a panel. Uh, so we went ahead and made that here. This is, in case you're wondering, this is our powder coated gunmetal color in case people ask about the colors. This is uh, powder coated gunmetal. So um, I've got multiple different G1000 audio panels here. I've got the Simeonic, I've got the Virtual Fly, and I've got the real sim gear. Okay, so all these are really popular in the simulation community. Uh, the Simeonic and Virtual Fly are both backlit. The real sim gear is not. The real sim gear has some rubber buttons on it. The Virtual Fly and Simeonic have more of a plastic button on it. Um, in case you're wondering which one has the, the best knob, uh, I mean, the, the Virtual Fly has definitely got some really nice texture on the knob, just like the real G1000. Uh, but the, the real sim gear is, is very, very tight in, uh, in its feedback and everything. But anyways, that's, that's for another video. I, I got a G1000 comparison video. We talk about the MFDs, PFDs, how to connect them into your panel, into your computer. You go check out that video. Uh, so basically, back to the audio panel. So, so these operate all on the same premise, okay? They all slide in from the front of the panel without the brackets on them. So they all have some kind of a bracket. Okay, this here is the real sim gear bracket here. That real sim gear bracket will sit right here on the back of the panel and it'll screw right in. Okay, same with the Simeonic. Okay, the Simeonic has these brackets here. These brackets basically fit right onto there. Two screws there. Now you'll notice that there are two screws on the outside as well. Those two screws also exist on the real sim gear unit. And these screws, you can turn them left or right to adjust the pressure in the standoff to compensate for a different thickness of panel that you put it in. So for example, maybe you wanna build a home cockpit out of wood or something. Uh, you're gonna back the stand out a lot further back because it's, uh, it's maybe thicker versus if you use one of our like steel panels, it might be a little bit thinner and you push the screw in. That, that's just creating the resistance to, uh, to combine these U units together, it really has kind of like a sandwich design. So it's pretty straightforward, but they all operate on the same concept. Take it, put it in from the front, okay? Now you wanna hold it in because otherwise, as you're doing this, it might just fall out and it can fall on the ground and it could uh, you know break or something like that. So you, you always wanna put it in, hold it in with a hand, and then uh, you kinda come around to the back of your panel you take your little bracket right here, and then you go ahead and you take your screw, and you go ahead and you'll uh, you'll screw it in. So you go ahead and you you put that screw in there, just like so, and uh, and that'll hold it in there really nice, just like so, and then get it all straightened up. And then these standoffs here on the outside, this is, this is how you adjust the pressure associated to it. So what I do is I recommend you take these standoffs, you back them out quite a bit, okay? So take it here, back it out, back it out. That way you're not putting too much pressure on this. And you can see here, there's quite a, there's not a lot of wiggle room, but there's, there's just a little bit of, a little wiggle in there, a little bit of play. And so we want to go ahead and take that out. So this is tightened down to the extra bracket. And then we'll tighten down these standoffs here. Oops. There we go. That one's done. Tighten down this standoff here. And then you can see there's no more play, right? The whole thing's now solid. It's not going anywhere. So that's just for the top bracket. You do the bottom bracket and, uh, and away you go. So pretty simple there. That's the real sim gear bracket. 
basically the exact same concept for the semionic bracket. It just uses some different uh, clamps. Now all these cutouts are different too, right? This is the other thing. All these cutouts are different for, so like you see here, see all the play. So that's why you got to make sure when you purchase your panel, you purchase it for the, the G1000 set that you have. They're, they're not all interchangeable. Um, and so anyways, but you, you put this in, you flip it around, you would hold it in as well. You put your bracket on there and then you take your screws here, take one of them, grab your two and a half millimeter Allen key and you go ahead and you tighten it down just like so. Just like that. You do the one up top, the one on the bottom, and you're good to go. And then you got your, your semionic panel in there. Uh, so that's pretty straightforward. Now, in terms of the virtual fly one, the virtual fly, it's a little bit deeper. So if you saw there, if you saw it fall over, that's why you gotta hang on to these things. Um, the, the virtual fly bracket, uh, it's a little bit deeper right here because the G1000 needed is so much deeper. So same concept though, takes on here. Virtual Fly also gives some standoff spacers. So if you actually want to put a spacer right here between the actual bracket, that's how you can adjust the amount of, of depth with it all. So that's how you can do that. But once again, it, it basically slides in. Uh, once again, different cutout, different design, but then the bracket goes in here and then if you need to create a little bit more space you can do that here with the spacer so uh, pretty pretty straightforward that's how they all go in in the front tighten the back and uh, and that's that's how you do it so hopefully that helps answer the questions for the three different systems and if you get any questions let us know um, always here to help and uh, you guys stay level we'll see you